coin is, it's a coin. Oh, you little cracker. Oh, it's a fibula. You little beauty, what a cracking find that is. Oh, oh, you stunner. Oh no, my first find, a Roman silver. Afternoon everybody. It's about half past one in the afternoon and this is the best day we've had for a long 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 time. It's December the 5th. I had to go and pick up my wife's daughter today from the airport so I wasn't able to come earlier and then an hour later I got picked Jesse up from train station coming back from school and uh, just dropped her off and come straight up here. Now I've got about two hours I reckon because then it wants to get dark then, about half past three, four o'clock. So uh, I'm back on a field where I did find quite quite a few Roman stuff and coins. But it has been ploughed since. It's grown again. And it was really deep ploughed, I believe. Uh, so I just figure it's worth a go again. Uh, it started to grow. But anyway, I'm going to head down to the area, which is to my right. And, and that's where I'll find it, everything and see if there's anything around there. If not, I'll move further down the field and have a go there. While I'm thinking about it, I want to give a shout out to a guy called the Divi Detectorist. Uh, he's based in Nottingham in the UK, that's where I'm from. And uh, yeah, he's a good lad, I like his videos. He finds some pretty good stuff and he seems okay. Might get him over here one day. So I've been going about half an hour and look at that, what the hell, I've never found anything that big before, that's definitely a shell because there's the rifling marks on it, look uh, and it may well be live that, I don't know but I want to keep that because I've been starting to collect this stuff World War II, probably, well, more than likely 90% certain, but I want to keep that, that's nice, it's heavy though. On my way back to the car, 22 signal, massive button, and uh, I don't know what it's made of, brass I think, maybe bronze. Still a ways to go to the car yet, so we'll see what comes up. Got about 10 metres away from the car, and I got an 8 signal. I think it was eight, I'll check it in a minute, but pretty sure it was eight, eight or nine. Dug it up, it weren't that deep, and I just was about to throw it away and I noticed something. I thought it was wire, look. That just looks like wire, but look at that end, it's pointed. Right, now look at this end. Look, it's got a bobble on it. So you know what that is? That may be a hairpin. or something of that description that's all bent I'm not throwing that away, that is probably Roman and I'm really really pleased with that, I'm going to put that in my pocket, don't want to lose that I would love to straighten that out but I didn't uh, if somebody could tell me a way I can straighten it out yeah you're going to say use heat I tried that before but when you use heat it makes it brittle so I would like to straighten that out because then you can definitely see that it's a pin. Look at that end look. That's an ear pin and that end's really sharp look. Wow. So that's my best find of the day. I'm really really pleased about that. So I was about to uh, give up on this field uh, and try another field but I thought I'd bring this bomb back first. I want that, I like that, and and I've got that hairpin. Really, really pleased about that. 
really pleased. That's definitely what it is. Definitely what it is. And uh, anyway, so I might even have another half an hour on that field just around about where I found that pin. I was just about to film this and I dropped it. Uh, a little slug. I don't know what from. Could be a smizer. Could be. I'm not sure. Could be older than that. But uh, I'm still plugging away on this field. I still might find a few bits. Ain't got much longer left. That sun's going down. But, you know, I'm happy just to get out, really. And I think, uh, really, that, that hairpin is really something. That Roman hairpin is really something. So it's worth coming out for just, just for that. I've got a 17 signal, you know I've had no coins and I can see roundness could be a button and I want to do this with you, I'm hoping it's a Roman, it's there look can you see uh, yeah and it is, it is it's a Roman <laughs> got myself a Roman so now I'm having a good day now you can see there on there don't know which way it's facing. I think it's facing to the right. And um, there's a pattern on the back. Yeah, that's definitely a Roman. <laughs> definitely. Why you little cracker? Roman fields. Always turn something up. I don't know who that is. I just know that 2,000 years ago somebody walked over here and dropped this. And they're gone now. They've been gone 2,000 years. All right, 1,950 years if you want to be precise, maybe, or a bit less than that even. That is beautiful. And that history just does something for me. I love digging Romans. They just do something for me. Another one to the collection. You little cracker. Let's see if we can find some more. So things are happening and um, that's where I just dug that coin up and I stood up swung and I got a, I got a signal here. It weren't a fantastic signal, it was a 12 uh, going down to 10 and I dug something up out here, it was a piece of crap. And then I got another signal here right inside of my shovel, just there, look, here's my shovel, right there, there's the stem. And I, I put it under my arm to lean on because my knees are knackered anyway so I'm rooting around here with a pinpointer and look at that and I know what that is I know that's part of a knee fibula I think part of a knee fibula Roman so within the space of a metre or a yard I've had two two Roman finds. So maybe I should skirt around this little area for a bit and see what else comes up. Nearly threw it away. Now somebody told me what it is but it's not a bottle top. I thought it was a chewed up bottle top and I almost threw it away. It looks like a, a tree trunk. I can see some things on it. I don't know. It might be Roman. It might be a lead toy soldier or something. Really difficult to tell. I can see some detail, but what that detail is, I do not know. But it's interesting. I really hope when I get back home and I clean this up that I can work out what it is, because I'm fascinated with this. There's something down there, look, sticking out on the side there. Something on the other side sticking out. It's like nobbles on a tree. But I'm definitely going to save that. I think it's hollow, look, because that's just full of soil. Maybe it's part of a toy soldier. I do not know. I don't know. But I like it anyway. We're losing daylight fast. Just got a 24 signal here. 24. I can see something. I believe it's a button. I hope it's not on a 24 signal, but... I don't know what the hell that is. If that's it. Yep. I do not know what that is. 
I have not got a clue. It just looks interesting. It's not a coin. It's something. It's a buckle. That's a tiny little buckle. It's probably Roman. Oh, what a lovely find that is. That's probably a Roman book, buckle because um, I am on the Roman field. Oh, that is nice. I'm sure that's a buckle because I can feel that part moving. Look, you see that rounded bit? I can fit there. That's moving. That is beautiful. Wow, what a cracking little find. It's heavy too. What a lovely little find. Oh, you're gorgeous. I'm not in a bad day now. I'm really happy with that. That's going to come up better than what you think, believe me. That is going to be a lot better than what you think. What a lovely find. Right, let's carry on. So maybe I'll be up for some good finds in the next half an hour, the, the last bit of time I've got left anyway. So the first item I got yesterday is this massive bomb. Now, whether it's exploded or not, there's some white coloured stuff in there. I don't know if that's for tracer, phosphorus maybe, I don't know. Uh, but David, I spoke with David last night and he told me the calibre. I can't remember the calibre now. I will contact him and I'll put it on the screen here. Uh, so that was my first find, which I really want to keep because I've started a box here with Nazi finds, okay, and um, like bullets, 50 calibre, uh, Second World War money with swastikas on, every one of these got swastikas on, badges and other party badges and bombs and stuff, maybe I might have to make this a bigger one, I'm not sure, so First and Second World War basically, and this will go in there, okay, so the next one, I want to show you is this beautiful buckle which I found on the Roman field and I'm beginning to think that these are Roman buckles I always thought that that shape was medieval but it seems I may be wrong now I was out again today and I found two more buckles which you're gonna see in the next video so possibly a Roman buckle which I was really happy about and then I found this and I believe that uh, that is part of a Roman knee fibula brooch. So two Roman finds. Uh, what else? I found this thing. I'm quite intrigued by it. I don't know what it is. I just don't know. I don't know if it's from a, a toy lead soldier or something. Whether that's supposed to be a tree trunk. I don't know. If anybody knows, please let me know. Just found it interesting. That's why I've included it. Then I found this is a Roman coin look. Nice Roman coin. And I will clean it up and I will show it you. And the one thing I'm really, really happy about is this look, this Roman hairpin. Look, if you look there, you can see there's a pattern on it, look. Stripes, downward stripes, uh, but not all the way down. So I know for sure that that's a Roman hairpin. I've checked it out. Look how the end uh, splays out and, and the, this end has got a point on it. So, uh, well, I say a hairpin, I don't know. I looked at Roman hairpins. I did see something very, very similar on Google. So I'm just assuming that's a Roman hairpin. And I'm really pleased with that because that's something I haven't got. And that will go in my Roman, Roman box. Um... Now, if you see my Roman box with all the coins in, uh, that's like a two-tier box, and underneath I keep all the Roman artifacts in the same box. It's got like two, two parts to it, an under part and, and, and the coins on the top. So, uh, I want to thank you all for looking in. I'm pretty busy now doing the next video, not this one. I haven't even done this one yet. And I'm going to be working straight on the next video after I've cleaned the coins. And uh, and I'll put them on this turn, turn style so you can see them back and front as it turns. Thanks. Bye bye for now.